All right, I've got this air compressor. I've had, well, actually, I don't know how long I've had, but if I was to guess, someone's to use this every day, some sort of a business in their business or something, probably would have lasted a month. Uh, it's been good to me. I've probably had it over, well, over five years, I'm going to guess. Uh, but what's happened is um, it's, it doesn't stop at where it gets to the safe pressure, and it the little safety valve you know this air starts popping out of here um so it's good i mean i enjoy it did its job for me it did well for me the time i had it just didn't last very long and the other thing is the noise was terrible um give me an idea here <laughs> searching on the internet and um, I'll show you what we decided to go with okay this is a Mac a Makita Mac 2400 MAC 2400 uh, ordered this at Home Depot on a Sunday and believe it or not got it on Monday with free shipping considering the weight of this that's pretty awesome thanks Home Depot we'll get this uh, unpacked all right I've got the compressor unboxed and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fill up the oil right here is kind of the warning tells you how to fill it up too right there is your your gauge up to the red dot uh, so we'll go ahead and get that done okay i thought i'd show you this real quick here where you go okay we've got this guy that i removed from there the compressor came with the oil, which is, thank you very much. And of course, it comes with a new cap to put in there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. All right, oil is full. That bottle took it took the whole bottle, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and hold on to the bottle just so I have an example of what needs to go back in there. Cap is put on. Next is the air filter, which is going to go right here. And here is the actual air filter. Looks like a little car air filter. So that's going to just screw right in there, which I'll go ahead and take care of right now. Okay, air, air filter's on. I'll give you a quick little tour before I put this in place because this won't be viewable with where I'm going to put it. Here it talks about the, um, the overload switch. That's actually right there. See it right there? I can't get my hand in there. I guess if I needed to, I could, but I'm not going to. So there is the overload switch right there. Right here is the release for the air. I've been talking, this is, I'll tell you, one thing I look at this, I look at a quality piece. Uh, one of the things I tried to do with the old compressor is uh, get it repaired, <laughs> but it's not repairable. And then the last thing I want to do is get another non-repairable unit, mostly because I take a little pride in what I own and I just don't want to buy disposable stuff. And imagine the landfill or wherever the parts of that, uh, that thing are going to go. Anyway, I'll put this in place and we'll be, uh, actually there's a break in that we're going to do. I'll explain that shortly. Okay, steps for break-in, plug it in, it's plugged in, empty or open the valve here, which is open, turn it on for 20 minutes. Tell you what, this thing's quiet. Anyway, I'll check back with you in 20 minutes. Alright, we've been running for 20 minutes. I do want to fix one mistake I made uh, earlier. The valve to be open gets placed down. This way, or the other way is open. Let's take a long, let's see how, ugh, if I can speak. Let's see how long it takes to fill this up now. I'm telling you, I love the, I mean, it's, 
lot quieter than the other unit, which is great. I always felt embarrassed when I turned the thing on. take about a minute and 15 seconds to get to the 130 pounds now I've actually seen other videos you know uh, with this unit and a guy had it I think 18 months or something like that unplugged and stored now used and it held the, the air that's nice because the other ones seem to leak, leak all the time from the get-go all right thanks for watching